Dear Dutch people, before I start this video, I want to tell you that I have a deep appreciation for your country and your culture. I mean, I love you guys. You're tall, you're well-traveled, you eat your fries with mayo, and you have an exceptional taste in footwear. But as much as I love your country, there's just one little thing I have a problem with. This guy, Zvata Pete, otherwise known as Black Peter. Hold up, is he a black thing? Actually, I lied. I have a really big problem with it. Now, a bit of a history lesson for you non-Dutch folk who have no idea what I'm talking about. In the Netherlands, there's a Dutch version of Santa, known as Sinterklaas. He's skinnier and kind of dressed like a wizard, but he's the same guy who wrote letters to at Christmas time when we were kids in North America. Anyway, he hands out toys and candy to little Dutch children, just like good old Saint Nick back home. But instead of being accompanied by the elves that we've come to know and love in North America, Santa Claus is helped by his black-faced servants, known as Swatapeten or Black Peters. And this, my dear friends, is highly problematic. Dutch people, I know you're gonna tell me, but the Black Pete character isn't in blackface. You're gonna say that he looks like that simply because he fell down the chimney and got covered in chimney soot. But if that's truly the case, why is his whole face painted black instead of just smudged with charcoal? And why are his lips thick and painted red? And why, oh why, is he wearing that dreadful curly afro wig. Hmm, interesting. Look, I can appreciate that this is not my culture, but if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, and talks like a duck, <coughs> and hey, before you tell me, but it's none of your business, you're not duck. <coughs> Let me remind you that a number of Dutch people, mostly people of color, have criticized the characterization of Black Peter in recent years. Sylvana Simons, a very popular Dutch TV host has denounced the caricature very publicly on many occasions. And back in 2014, 90 people were arrested for protesting at a parade in the Dutch city of Hauda. That's Gouda for you English speakers, where a slew of Black Peters made an appearance. And if that's not enough, Black Peters have been banned from Christmas celebrations in the nation of Suriname, a former Dutch colony that has, you guessed it, a large population of people of color. So I'm just gonna say it straight and plain. Dutch people, your boy Zvata Piet, he's super racially offensive. Look, let me reiterate that this is not an attack on Dutch people or culture. And before you accuse me, I am not saying that Dutch people are racist. But Zvata Piet, or Black Peter, is a tradition that perpetuates racist stereotypes that harken back to slavery. And you know what? At some point, we have to recognize that traditions must change with the times. Because what was okay in 1916 just isn't appropriate in 2016. And regardless of where we're from or what we may personally believe, we should all be sensitive to how our words and actions make other people feel. I mean, it's up to us to educate ourselves and to do better. So take a deep breath and repeat after me. In 2016, blackface? It's not okay. Even if it's tradition, and even if you think it's harmless. I mean, if you love him so much, you don't need to remove him like completely. He seems to be quite a nice fellow. All I'm asking is that you change him. Ditch the blackface, the curly wig, and the thick red lips. There are vestiges of stereotypes, racism, and racial oppression. And quite frankly, black people are not costumes. We are not here for your amusement or entertainment. Slavery, imperialism, and servitude aren't funny and shouldn't be celebrated. So do better and do the right thing. And for those who say I have no right to talk about this phenomenon, well, the beauty of living in a global village is that we get to share and experience each other's cultures. But in doing so, it's important that we call out inappropriate and outdated practices and behaviors. So, with all of that said, I would love to get your opinion on Spot to Pete or Black Peter. Dutch people in particular, I would love to hear your thoughts. Is he a harmless figure in Dutch culture or is he a symbol of an extremely problematic tradition that needs to die? 
If you're digging this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure to share it with all your friends. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you're not feeling this video, you know what? This is a democracy. Give it a thumbs down and make sure that you comment below and let me know why you didn't like it. I'm gonna peace out of here. This is Onika signing off. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun, subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Happy holidays and 